Hey planner friends, it's Mia. Welcome to Life with Mia. Today we are planning out the week of December 11th through the 17th and I have some new items to show you. Um, I was working on some new things and came across this little gem that I had done a while ago. I did it when I did the other A5 kits that came out like Brock Friday time and totally forgot about it. Um, that's what happens when the system crashes. If I don't have a list going, it's forgotten. So in any case, this is Purple Frost and um, it's now on the website. So if you love it, A5 Daily Duo, Purple Frost. We had some issues with cutting. Both my blades that I was using went out at the same time. So that'll be fun. But um, I have this, this new A5 kit. And let me show you these other items. Got the Purple Frost. This uh, this kit is called Iridescent. So pretty. And I think I'm going to use that in my half letter this week. So let's just go ahead and set one of those aside for ourselves. The happiness of owning the sticker shop. Also is Empowered. Love the blue. I'm just go ahead and sit one of the oysters side for ourselves as well. So that is empowered. Then we have celebrate. So this is fun to use for New Year's, um, but you could use it for any type of party. And there's a deco sheet which the clocks are very reminiscent of New Year's, but you could still use it for a party. Then I um, have a little collection of eight dolls. This is the Winter Sleigh collection. Now these, I don't know, these may not be up on the site when you go to look. I gotta work on the photos for these still. But this is Winter Sleigh. And there's eight dolls. And y'all's little nephew doing too much. I love this one. She's super cute. They, these dolls came to slay. Okay. So, what I also did was, um, there is the Winter Sleigh Warm weekly mini kit and there's three dolls two different ones on here um and I said warm because it's just like warm rich warm colors and then um there is a winter sleigh plaid which I don't know what happened to that one. But there is also a winter sleigh plaid. I'll have to see if I can find it. Maybe for this video or maybe show it in another one. Then we have Luxurious Holiday. And this is all navy. So really pretty. Here are the boxes. Navy and gold. Luxurious Holiday. Um... I have another one. I'll have to show it on Tuesday. Um, and I'll probably show the winter, the plaid Tuesday as well. But um, I have another kit called Planner, Luxury Planner Aesthetic. That is like a white and gold. That's really pretty as well. So you have dolls. And you have deco. So all the new things for you there. Now, let's get into this week, which I don't know if these um, 
I'm going to end up with a whole bunch of half cut stuff, uncut stuff. You just like never have any way of knowing when a blade is just going to go out. And so I, t I tend to spot check periodically and I can tell when the sheet doesn't cut all the way through that I definitely have a problem. But by that time, I've like wasted a bunch of paper and thought that a bunch of things were cut when they weren't. Um, which is like one of my pet peeves. I wish there was a way for the machine to be like dull blade or replace blade or something. Um, because there is truly just no way to know. So, um, I never want to send you all uncut stickers. So I do, like I said, I do little spot checks periodically, but it can sneak up on you. Um, I have filmed all of the advent videos. So there are a total of 13 videos. Um, 12 of them are each individual day and then there's one unboxing everything. I think I am going to post the one unboxing everything at the very end after the 12th day. Um, and I'm going to share a video per day starting on the 14th, um, going until the 25th. And um, I probably will have it scheduled for midnight my time on the 14th, which would be like 3 a.m. East Coast time. And I will also post a link to the video in the Facebook group so you all can check it out. This is what I'm talking about. These are not cooperating. And then it gets to the point where it's not cutting it at all. And that means you have to replace your blade. And I have found that ordering blades online is probably a bad idea. I think people actually buy them, put their um, old blade in there and return them to Amazon. I, I've received blades open and... I'm just like, absolutely not. I'm not accepting an open blade because I know that that is not a usable blade. Um, but I think that they also may repackage them with dull blades. I changed a blade and it's still not cutting. And there's no reason, um, there's no reason it should still not be cutting. It's brand new out the package, um, outside of it being replaced with a dull blade. I need to fix this. I don't like this. Sometimes you have to move the art around. I don't like this line of democratization right there. And I'll listen, all of these, I probably need to pull all of this out of my inventory because these are not cut at all. Sometimes you gotta improvise. So ordinarily this is going to be an oops. This is a little bit of a complicated oops though. I don't know that I would even want to put this in an oops. Um, but I was going to use this myself this week. Oh my goodness. So anyways, yes, I've got the advent videos done. Those are going to be going up. 
um, at the filming of this video, there is one box left. I would say that I am probably going to take it down on Tuesday if it's still there. Um, and then as far as like the Advent things, um, most of the things... are not going to be available separately and I haven't decided yet on stickers like whether or not I will release those or not to be determined still so we've got that happening um, what else is happening? This is so frustrating. Um, this week really don't have too much going on. I'll tell y'all a little funny story. So, you know, I follow the Budget Mom and I use her products, her Budget by Paycheck workbook. Um, she started another business in honor of her mom who passed away um, earlier this year. And it is a primarily a soap making um, business. Now y'all know I love soap and bath products and all things, anything that I can create a like spa experience at home. I'm here for it. Plus natural. I'm, I love that. So, um, she's making soap. She's got like some candles and lotion bars, but it's all natural. Um, and she's been showing her process online and like what ingredients go into her soap making. And, um, she had, when she first talked about it, like, people grabbed everything that was available, which wasn't much. So, she's been, like, slowly working. She does, like, small batches. It's not this huge thing. She's been slowly working at um, planning for this release today. And she's a small batch maker. Everything is, like, done, you know, at her home, in-house, in handmade um, and <laughs> I was like, I want to try this soap. I know that she has a bazillion people following. So let me set an alarm and, uh, not play any games. I don't know if y'all remember when I first learned about Simply Gilded, I think it was, 20, the end of 2019, the beginning of 2020, somewhere around there. It might have been a little before that. But I learned real quick, you had to have ninja fingers to get anything. I, nobody told me. I didn't know. Um, and, and there's been some instances where that has been the case with cloth and paper as well. Um, when I first started fooling with them... Oh, gosh, what was it? There was something where... <laughs> it's like I I totally got distracted. And that was like the one thing I went to get. And I forgot to get it. And then it was gone. I don't even remember what it was at this point. But you had to just ninja finger. Because stuff was going to go quickly. So, <laughs> I was like, okay. I, I don't think any of this is gonna last very long y'all that stuff was gone in two minutes two minutes the sale went live at 10 i refreshed at 9 59 it might have been 10 o'clock somewhere um and um you everything has said sold out so it wasn't showing up until 10 o'clock um and I was just, I knew exactly what I wanted to get. I got, I, I did not get two of the things that I wanted. 
because they went quickly. Um, I need to like really be anxious for nothing tomorrow because I, I got a problem and I'm trying to Woosa, woosa. Um, so anyways, I, so I'm adding the soap, adding the soap, adding the soap, and I was just like, I'm gonna check out Apple Pay. Um, I'm not gonna fool around, I'm not gonna put in credit card info. She says she has a thing on there where it'll hold it in your cart for five minutes, but I didn't even see that. I, I wasn't, mm -mm 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 -mm. um, <laughs> we just, we gonna be in and out. And I think I was, I was checked out at 10.02, and I went back and refreshed and literally everything except for the candles. And I think the lotion bar says sold out. So there were two soaps I did not get that I wanted. One was... Um, Ocean Mist. And the other was... The Charcoal... tea tree or turmeric one of those so I was a little sad that I did not get those two but um I am happy that I got a whole bunch of other ones that I really wanted so I got um the pine because I'm really interested in like pine for your skin um I have a ton of skin issues and it's supposed to be really good. And um, I got oatmeal honey. I got, I did get the lotion bar, which is not something I would ordinarily do, but I wanted to try it out. When does winter start? It's the 21st. Um, what other ones did I get? I think I got four four bars of soap total. I got like a little exfoliator thing and a um, bamboo soap holder and and the lotion bar. So I think I got four bars of soap, one lotion bar, and then the soap holder and the exfoliator. I don't remember what the other soaps were, but listen, have you ever checked out? <laughs> And you don't even know what you buy in like. <laughs> I like to I'm I'm very methodical when I do things. And so I like to go back and look at my cart, make sure this is really what I want, make sure I've got everything in there, and I didn't leave anything out. I don't want to have to come back. I don't want to pay separate shipping. I don't want to I don't want to make a mistake. I want to do things correctly. It was it's something in my head said, girl, if you don't check out, just check out. Because if you don't check out, you're not getting nothing. And that stuff went so quickly. Um, it's crazy. It's and it's like, you know, as a as a shop owner, I don't own a soap shop, but as a shop owner, that is a gift and a curse. It's like you want your shop to do really well. And I pay attention to what she does. I think that she's a great business person. Um, you know, her social media content is what was really, in my opinion, hyping people up about it and, and bringing the awareness to it. Um, she also had like a waiting list. And so their you know, emails went out. But listen, the email went out after I'd already checked out. So... You know, but she's got that in place that like uh, the, all these various systems and things. And so um, I feel like I can learn from all of those things. And so I was, you know, I've been watching. Plus, I love that type of stuff. I love soap and natural skincare products. And um, yeah, like I said, as a fellow shop owner it's like this is amazing how do I how do I have this type of success how do I do this but at the same time you know of course people are going to be upset because they didn't get anything or um you know everything was gone so quickly like and she came on Instagram pretty quickly 
and said, you know, she's sorry and thank you. Because, I mean, she can't, she can only do what she can do. She's one person. So, she can only make so much. And uh, we wiped her out. It's crazy. So, I did that today. I also decided... I like the Urban Eden Frankincense and Myrrh Bar. I don't love it. But I did order another one. Um, I really like the whipped body butter in the Frankincense and Myrrh, which is no longer available. Um, but the bar came back. So I was like, do I mess around and wait and see if the whipped body butter comes back? And I was like, it's probably not going to come back. Let's just get the... Let's try some of these other ones. So I got like a sampler in the, it's got like the calming. So there's the original lavender and I don't remember what the other one was. Um, Cause I, more than anything, I like the formulation of it. Um, so I'm not 100% stuck on the scent. And if I do, once a scent, I can always add frankincense to the original, which is unscented. Okay, let's see if I can make something of this box. I legit don't have patience for this type of stuff. And I know it doesn't match, but I'm going to throw this other one away because I don't have time for this. Ever. <laughs> ever, ever, ever. I'm going to put that there. I got some little checklists here. I'm still on my little grocery thing where I'm trying not to spend... Even these aren't cut right. I'm trying not to spend... Um, much at the grocery store and eating out this month I'm trying to keep the costs down so so far not too bad but we are only 10 days into the month so we shall see i am going to do a I'm working on my list. My playlist for the 2024 budget series. So I'm going to use this space over here. All right, this video has gotten entirely too long. So, let's wrap it up. Okay, so we've got... I need to find my take a break stickers. I will talk about my work drama in my video tomorrow, which no, I'm going to probably film it today. I was going to say it. I, I might have an update, but I'll talk about it in tomorrow's video. And then if there's an update, I'll include the update in Wednesday's video. Try not to get fired, y'all. And listen, the only person that's going to fire me is myself. And, uh... The way I feel that would be a okay. I don't like when people do dirty stuff and try to make themselves look like the victim. So we working on exposing people without being unemployed because anything else is going to lead to us. being unnecessarily 
stressed out behind some nonsense. Did not, I mean, literally nonsense. I need some more take a break stickers. All right, so this is what the week is looking like in the A5 Daily Duo. Um, I'm sure that I will have more to share with you in tomorrow's video, Tuesday's video, but uh, this is it for this week, so let me know um, from the new items that I shared what you are loving, and if there's something that you um, would like to see, let me know that as well. I am working on some new items for Black History Month, but um, I'm also open to suggestions. So that is this week in the A5 a Daily Duo. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you back here next time.